General Atomics is going to be building a new long-range strike missile called Bullseye in the U.S. We talked to Scott Forney of General Atomics Electromagnetic Systems about it. So Scott, let's talk about Bullseye. General Atomics has long history in developing hypersonics, precision-guided munitions, and projectiles. So tell us about this particular missile and the strategic rationale for adding it to your portfolio. Well, well thanks. It's a great question, actually. If you didn't know, General Atomics is the largest privately held defense contract in the United States, to my knowledge. We like to do the hard things that maybe others shy away from, so we have a higher risk tolerance. So if you look at the aircraft carrier, for example, that is the weapon systems that la launch and the resting system for the aircraft. Mm -hmm. If you look at hypersonics, we wanted to make sure that we can launch those as well, so we're building missile tubes for uh, submarines as well. But then if you look at the kinetic effects, we wanted to match up with our directed energy programs, as we do from watts to hundreds of kilowatts of worth of power. But what we were missing from the portfolio is we were missing a um, reasonably range strike cruise missile. The company over the last 15 years has developed several variants of missiles that just didn't see a program of record. Mm -hmm. So we started talking to our friends in Israel, Raphael, about what can we do together. And uh, they had just developed the ice, uh, icebreaker missile. They have contracts for 1,200 or so missiles right now, so they're working on the cost factors. And we agreed to sign a deal with them. And the deal was so that we could provide both directed energy and kinetic uh, weapons, uh, in addition to our smaller projectiles that we're doing, like with a long-range moving projectile. Very good, thanks. So what gap does the bullseye missile fill in the DOD's arsenal? Well, it's, a, it's our belief that when you look at the CCA program, the collaborative uh, combat aircraft, when you look at even today's inventory with uh, Super Hornet, FA-18, or even the F-15 or 16, uh, a long-range, low-cost uh, cruise missile with great accuracy, something that you can skim along the ocean or skim along the ground, we, we think that's a, a delta that we can fill um, with our partnership with Raphael. So a bullseye will be manufactured and integrated in the, in the U.S to build this uh, affordable mass for domestic missile production. Tell uh, us about your plans. Yeah, our, our plan is uh, we're working with Raphael right now, splitting up what makes the most sense to be uh, built by uh, General Atomics. Uh, but we have a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Tupelo, Mississippi and Iuka, Mississippi. There we are making, um, we probably have 60 or more CNC machines. We make things as big as 18 feet in diameter to projectile parts to seekers. We built seekers already for uh, missile systems mm -hmm. and we built our hypersonics in that same facility. So our intent is to build uh, probably half of the missile uh, in uh, Tupelo, Mississippi, maybe some of the cables and harnesses in San Diego where we have state-of-the-art facilities there. And then Raffaella, uh, the, our partner, will build the balance of it um, in Israel or wherever they choose. Very good. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate you filling us in on the details of Bullseye. Thank you. Appreciate it. We've heard about a new long-range missile called Bullseye that General Atomics will build domestically and that fills a gap in the DOD arsenal. Thanks for watching.